AI is finally doing something useful for artists. You got an AR app that lets you composite 3D into live footage right on your iPhone. And there's a new motion design app that's aiming to make motion design more fun. It's Motion Mondays. Say, what, what's, what's that over there? Mo1 is a new web-based motion graphics tool designed to be more accessible than what they call complex software like After Effects. It claims Mo1 will simplify camera motion, especially 3D movements, and will offer unique creative modules. It's currently in private beta, but since it's browser-based, it's also going to be compatible with Mac, Windows, and Linux. Now, this is interesting because they're positioning it as an After Effects, but fun, I don't know, I think After Effects is plenty fun, but this does kind of look almost like a Canva for motion design kind of type thing. It'll be interesting to see when this comes out and what it can actually do. But if you want to sign up, it's in private beta right now, so you can just enter in your email and check it out. Because hey, it takes one to mow one. Magic Animator 2.0 is an AI-powered tool from Lottie Labs that's designed to help creatives quickly animate their Figma designs. So what you do is basically import your vector image and then use AI to animate it. It integrates with platforms like Figma, Canva, Adobe Express, and supports exporting animations as videos, GIFs, or code-ready Lottie files. Now I can't tell you how many times we've actually tested these little AI tools before, and uh, it doesn't do a great job except for like very simple animations. But hey, if you're needing to do some rapid prototyping or really quick animation generation or even something that might spur some ideas, you should probably check it out. But my takeaway is, is that if you're a 2D motion designer, you should feel pretty good about your job security because these AI tools at this point can only do very basic stuff. Now time for some School of Motion news. Our next course is launching today. Cue the, the triumphant horns. But it's called After Effects Insider and it's taught by Aran Stern. He is what I would dare call an After Effects guru. Now this course has more than 12 hours of intermediate and advanced training teaching you how to work inside After Effects as efficiently as possible. It's got a lot of super nerdy deep cut settings that cover a lot of things that you probably wish you would have known when you first started using After Effects. Now we also have our School of Motion holiday card. It's on its 10th anniversary. Holy cow, been doing this for 10 years. So our theme this year is New Year, New Blank. And you basically fill in the blank and you just kind of run with it. The deadline's Wednesday, December 3rd at 5 p.m. Eastern. So get to it. Now, if you want to find out all about those specs for the holiday card and learn more about our brand new After Effects course, head on over to our website. The link will be in the description. Simulon is an AR app that's been around for a while, but it just opened up to the public. Now, what this app does is it basically allows you to shoot, track, HDR light and render in your iPhone using LiDAR. So what you do is you can take 3D models, composite them into your scene and just lights everything really nice using the environment that you're shooting in. So the app even has occlusion, which is pretty crazy. So you can render completely in the cloud inside a Simulon and using the Simulon bridge, you can actually bring those scene files back into say Blender or Cinema 4D, whatever your DCC of choice is. You can also export our EXRs for more composite too. Now, another really cool thing they teased that's coming soon was this new feature improving the 360 degree HDR lighting that's also going to include accurate reflection. So you'll actually be able to have your environment be reflected on a reflective object and move it through the scene like it's actually there, which is Really, really impressive. Now, if you haven't tried out Simulon and you do any type of VFX work, be sure to go check it out. You can download the app for free on the App Store. The link to that will be in the description. Otoy and Render Network just announced that Cinema 4D just got a new Render Network Wizard plugin, which basically helps you integrate your Cinema 4D projects within the Render Network and supports Octane and 
Redshift. So the wizard automates tedious manual tasks. You don't have to manually package your files up anymore. It's got faster uploads with differential uploads, meaning that only new or modified assets are re-uploaded, which really saves you a lot of transfer time there. There's also scene validation with a checker tab that acts like a pre-flight toolkit that will identify any potential issues before you upload. And this is something that will catch people up with render farms all the time. You'll have missing textures or unsupported plugins. This checker will make sure that none of that happens. So once you do that, you can then send your Cinema 4D project straight to the Rendered Network Manager app with a single click. So for anyone looking for a render farm solution, this looks like a pretty solid update for anyone wanting to use the render network with Cinema 4D. All right, it's time for some cool work from around the interwebs. First up is this awesome laundry transitions reel that PJ Richardson posted on LinkedIn that's just super satisfying to watch. It got a lot of mesmerizing cell animated transitions, and it's super cool to see a studio just do a reel on just one aspect of motion design. Go check that out. Next, we've got the Skoda video Vision Zero reveal from Aggressive. It's a beautiful car commercial work that shows off some serious production value and motion design chops. Like I really want to know how they pulled off the floating letters thing. And I just love the part where the 3D printed kind of scaffoldings melt into the car shell. So crazy awesome. And finally, Edgar Ferrer just dropped a new reel and I gotta point something out. This reel, it's awesome, but it's also less than 30 seconds long. And that's one of the biggest things we talk about in our monthly portfolio reviews. You really want your reel to be short and sweet, all killer, no filler, and Edgar definitely does that. It's a great example of how to structure a demo reel that respects people's time while showing off your best work. Now our next story here is all about retopology in Blender and there's an awesome update to a long-standing plugin called Retopo Flow that's been around for 10 years now. They've just announced Retopo Flow 4, a sketch-based retopology tool for Blender that just came out of beta and is now available for everybody. So it's designed to generate geometry that precisely snaps onto the surface of high poly models. You've got tools like PolyPen for vertex by vertex control, poly strips for laying out face loops, and strokes for sketching quad patches. So motion designers can definitely improve their workflow when dealing with complex models like this. They also have the contours tools, which simplifies retopology for cylindrical shapes like eyes. And then we've got things like tweak and relax brushes for fine tuning vertex positions. So it looks like a pretty beefy update for anyone who does retopology. But wouldn't it be nice if there was just an AI for retopology? Well, your wish might have finally came true. There is a new tool called Tractive that just got teased on LinkedIn, and it's an AI retopology tool designed to streamline this super tedious task. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody hates retopology. No one wants to do it. No one enjoys it. And if they do, they're sickos. But if this tool lives up to its hype, 3D artists are going to rejoice that AI is finally doing stuff we don't like to do. Now, if only AI could just handle weight painting, UV unwrapping, we'll be set. I mean, we don't need AI for anything else. So definitely keep an eye out for this. You can sign up on their website for updates on the closed beta. You can find the link in the description. And keeping it on the AI tip, we're feeling a little bit optimistic because of AI retopology helping 3D artists out there, but there's a nice article from True Grit Textures about the case for optimism in the age of AI, and it points out some pretty interesting trends. So first off, there's a potential burst of the AI bubble. It's an investment bubble that could burst at any time, reducing the hype and separating useful tools from overhyped business models. Then there's the fact that there might be a preference for human made art, and then you just have public backlash against it. The public is really quick to criticize brands that embrace AI art, posing a risk for any business that uses AI. So it's a really good article. Definitely check it out to read more about True Grit's optimism and its reasoning for it. So it's good to see that when I feel like there's just a lot of doom scrolling on the internet right now. Now on to our student of the week, who is Marina Bagadoy from France, and she is a motion designer currently recreating her portfolio. So basically what she wanted to do was rebuild her website to make it more interactive. And so she discovered Rive and joined All Access and discovered Rive Academy. And so she said that the course is intense, but definitely satisfying. You can see her website's currently under construction because of course she's adding all that nice Rive goodness, but you can definitely check out her work on Instagram. Got a lot of great stuff there. And I can't wait to check out her new website and congrats on discovering Rive and adding it so you have a portfolio to stand out. So our next story is about Gaussian splats. You're gonna have to hold me back from 
talking about splats every week, but this week a new version of Super Splat is out. It's a free open source Gaussian splat editor designed specifically for production workflows. It runs entirely in your browser with no downloading required, making it accessible from anywhere. So you can Gaussian splat edit on the beach, because why not? So it allows you to clean up raw splat scenes, reduce file sizes, and refine object orientation, and stuff like that. It also includes a new flood fill selection tool, which enhances the editing process by enabling intuitive selections of, say, a splat region, like isolating a specific object, which saves you a ton of time having to do all the manual selecting. So it's super easy You just navigate around your scene or your splat and then just use the tools to grab selections, delete them, edit them. Really cool tool. So if anyone's working with splats, definitely give this a try because it's free. So there's nothing to lose. Insidium announced GPU accelerated smoke and fire in their Nexus Tech preview. So Insidium creates plugins for Cinema 4D. And so this NX Explosia effect seems like a really powerful new way to create cool fire and smoke effects anywhere from subtle candle smoke to massive explosions directly inside of Cinema 4D. Now, this is gonna compete with the internal pyrol tools that are built inside of Cinema 4D, so it'll be interesting to see how it compares. The fire and smoke can be emitted from a range of sources, so objects, splines, vertex maps, shaders, and particles. You can grab it soon because it's gonna be released in beta sometime in the near future. So for anyone who loves Insidium and X Particles, it looks like you're gonna have a shiny new toy to play with real soon. And finally, our very own Aaron Rabinowitz teamed up with the lovely folks at Pixel Lab to create this free Light Trails plugin for Unreal Engine. Light Trails is a collection of Niagara systems designed to create ribbon-based particle effects, drawing inspiration from Disney's Tron films. Now these effects are designed for motion graphics and VFX and can be easily added to moving objects via drag and drop. The trails offer full customization, including control over distortion, colors, and emissiveness, and is compatible with Unreal Engine 5.5 or higher. You can check it out over at the Pixel Lab website and definitely check out all of their other awesome freebies that they have on their site because they've got quite a lot. And that's it for this week's Motion Mondays. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and be sure to check out our brand new After Effects course over on our website. All right, we'll see you next week with some Mo Motion news. Take care.